who knows how many <laughs> I mean people he has uh obviously the girl in Colorado may not be as incriminating as the girl that he just sent flowers to and then hung up the phone and wouldn't explain who she was. Right. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't assume anything, but I mean, that was an awkward uh, dinner that they had and not to say anything at all to your wife that you ran into an old friend and went to dinner with them, but, you know, for her to find those pictures. But then that... Somebody totally different. Yeah. We don't assume anything, but the only thing I would assume is that he has a hard time keeping them all straight. It's uh, Mojo on the Morning Show. Uh, Kelly, what's up? Yeah, Shannon, you didn't do the, um, how would you like to sign the card? Uh, so the, I, you know what, it's funny. More. I thought the same thing, too, and I didn't want to jump on and, and say anything at all. Yeah. But was it... We were thrown off by a different name. <laughs> I was, because I knew I knew the two names that I thought, he, you know, were the choices to put on the, on the card, and then... When it was like a name totally out of left field, I just, I don't know. Well, he's got one in every state. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. I was bummed. I'm like, oh, she didn't ask because that would have just given us so much I know, clue. I know. Do you think if we call him back and just say, hey, Josh, we well, forgot one the last thing. thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> here's the thing. If it was, uh, I don't know, a relative or a friend, you know, or someone, she would have recognized the name. She didn't. And so we know that it's just some rando. He would explain, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, right. He, why would he not explain if it was somebody who's innocent, you know? I mean, the reason he's not explaining is it's got to be I'm something. I'm sorry, by the way. Hmm. We'll blame pregnancy brain on that one, too. Total baby brain. <laughs> uh, Mojo in the morning show. So how many cheaters can one uh, people person have? Or how many, uh, you know... Mistresses? Mistresses or misters can one person have. Is there anybody listening to the show who found out that their significant other had like numerous people that they weren't just with one person, but they were like numerous at the same time? Well, she said he's always traveling for work. I mean, God help us if we have to think about this. He could have a whole phone full of people for every city. Uh, Mojo in the morning. Hello. Hi. Uh, you guys are talking about multiple uh, partners that yeah. they mm-hmm. got. Yeah. Yeah. Did- it wouldn't necessarily be me. It's an old ex-best friend of mine. She's married for like 13 years. She started cheating just once, and then it went into like one after another. Not even just guys, but girls too. Going on vacations and all this kind of other stuff and saying she was going to see a therapist, but really she was seeing a guy. Do you think it's kind of like they feel like, oh, I got away with it, and it kind of becomes addictive? Like, well, geez, I'll just try it again. How, how, many, exactly. did, how many did she finally end up having? What was the last count? Um, Honestly, I would say I remember I haven't spoken to her in over a year or two, and it was like up to like six or seven people. Oh my she kept saying like, being like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm like, really? Like, how done are you? <laughs> That's insane. I don't know how you have enough time for something like that. Uh, Nick wants to be voices, guys. Nick, we're asking how many did they have? Uh, from what I know, three. I, I caught one. Um, I, I finally got her phone. She was blocking her phone. I caught her not only on recording saying that she loved another guy, but then I went through her phone and found out that she was saying good morning, handsome, and can't wait to meet you and do this to you and that to you. Oh, boy. Guys. And she other guys, not just one. She had three of them. Yep. Oh, man. She was busy. How did she find time for you? Uh, the sad part is I don't think she's done anything with any of them because she's always at home, you know, when she's supposed to be. She she's always at work when she's supposed to be. And so it was I've just never, a. I've never. It was just never verbal cheating then. Time to be out with these people. Just, just verbal cheating. Just verbal cheating, I believe. Hmm. Wow. Mojo on the morning show. Renee. Hi. How are you? We're okay. How many did he have? Five. Oh, man. And how did you catch him with these five? So, actually, we met online, and we dated, and he was so attentive. You know, we went out all the time, and he met my family. And then I look on Facebook one day, and I see him with another woman. And she wrote underneath that, I love you so much. You're amazing. So I immediately emailed her. And... You know, told her, like, hey, we've been dating for six months, blah, blah, blah. And she ended up asking me for my phone number, and I called her. And come to find out, she was the actual girlfriend, and I was, like, a side chick. Oh, my gosh. And there were five of us, and he got one of them pregnant. So, crazy. 
Oh, my God. That's the worst when you find that out. Can you imagine? Not only find yeah. out you're being cheated on, but find out you're the cheaty. How about this one here? Uh, Jacqueline, how many did he end up uh, having? Um, I actually found out that my ex was with eight different women. Jeez. And how did you find out about eight? Um, I went through his cell phone one day because I just had one of those weird feelings. Yeah. And um, there were actually, like, nudes sent between each other and everything between eight different women. And wow. I actually just had his kid in October. Oh, oh God. man. That is awful. These stories get worse one after the next. If you missed War of the Roses just a little bit ago, she suspected that her guy was cheating with an old uh, school friend. Turned out another girl was uh, the one he sent the flowers to. We're assuming he has a couple of people. Well, Caroline is on with us right now. She has been talking to Rachel off the air for some time. And Rachel said that he sent her a text. And Caroline, what did the text say to you? I need to explain this. Can you pick up the phone? Has he been calling you? Yeah. And you and you don't want to talk to him about it? I heard what I need to hear. Yeah. All right. If you do talk to him, though, um, and you do feel comfortable enough to, uh, to let us know what his explanation is, please uh, let us know. I'm going to let you talk again more to, uh, to producer Rachel. Hold on one sec.